All righty, so this is our community and curriculum roundtable, and we are going to have a college readiness roundtable after that. And again, for, hey guys, come on in. So we have Sarah Shields from Homeschool Collective here with us. I know most, many of you kn already know her. And we have Christina Werner, um, who is a charter school mom and also involved with Public Square here. Uh, we're just gonna be talking about community and curriculum, <laughs> as the round table says. I was homeschooled from a young age when there wasn't a lot of community. The, the communities were very insular, um, you know, and, and it was thought of as kind of a weird thing to do, right? Now it's like the cool thing. Um, but also, when I was talking about holes and, and gaps, a big one that I see in the alternative ed community is, as a mom, I felt like I didn't get to be a mom anymore because I was the principal, the teacher, the lunch lady, <laughs> the chauffeur to all the programs. I was like, it was like I wanted, I home educated because I wanted to be with my kids and then I ended up being everything but a mom and it actually took that role of being a mom away and that it was kind of crazy. It was like I put my kids in the public school system so I could be a mom again. Um, and so I think that there has to be a way for community to relieve that burden. So right. what was the need that you guys saw um, in creating Homeschool Collective and how are you trying to, to use community to kind of relieve some of those burdens on families? Yeah. Hi, so my name is Sarah. I'm a mom of three kids. We've homeschooled since day one. Um, we moved down here almost three years ago and it took me four months as a veteran homeschool mom who knows how to dig. It took <laughs> us four months to find community wow. and I can't put all of it on me. Um, it took a lot of effort on my end to kind of gather everybody together. Um, but once, and this was in the growth of during COVID, a lot of influx from public school coming to the homeschool world, um, a, a lot of people who are already homeschooling looking for community. Now there's public school families looking for community. <laughs> Um, a lot of the moms, we have some moms here today um, who are leads. We've started with 20 families in a co-op and in four months that I found the communities from April of 21 to November, or April, May, June, July, August, so four months, August, um, we went from 20 families to 100 families wow. and then now we support 3,400 families. Wow. We have 20 co-ops around San Diego County, also including San Clemente. 33 moms who've stepped up to volunteer to host park days, field trips, meetups, beach outings, all different things. And it started just by sharing. And all it takes is you sharing, you stepping up, stepping out of the box to help your children find community. Um, sorry, it's really weird talking into a mic. Um, Can everybody hear okay? No, hello. Oh God. He's videoing, so yeah. Okay. We wanna capture all your wisdom. Yeah, so when you, th when you think of like socialization in the sense, like when kids go to a more, oh my it God, sounds, it sounds I hear myself, that's awful, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> closer. Yeah. In public school, your children don't really get the quality of socialization that you get when you homeschool. We go, I was just telling Crystal, one of our San Diego leads, how we started, because she didn't even know, we've grown so fast that initially my family would set up a park day. We'd be there from 10 a.m. till four, sometimes 5 p.m. We'd bring breakfast on the go, because that's early for our homeschool families. We'd bring lunch, <laughs> we'd sit on blankets all day, we'd bring snacks to the kids. You don't even see your kids. So you were talking as a homeschool mom having this responsibility of being all the roles. Yes, you are, but if you can lean on community to help support you during those opportunities at parks, beaches, pools, my kids were having an amazing time. I didn't see them the whole day. I knew that that was a good day. Right. Mom, where's lunch? And then they'd take their lunch to go eat with their friends. Um, but we were getting quality mom time, conversations. It was like therapy. And then these moms, these 33 moms have turned in and more, have turned into family. I'm going to baby showers, birthday parties. I'm going to watch performances. It's just like I've homeschooled for so long and in Ventura where I used to live, we had a co-op we were part of for five years and we met every Monday for five years. These fam families are turning into my friends. I look forward to taking my kids to the park. I look forward to the community. So from there, we've built a website my husband has built, um, and he hates that I say that. <laughs> we're still growing, we're in the infancy stages, but um, he built a website, we're putting resources on there just because that's what I needed. We're just putting things that other homeschool families will need. 
connecting families to each other, um, and it's just growing. I love it. Yeah. And I, th I think you guys are a really good example of what I was talking about earlier as far as collaboration over competition. Because when people go to your site, they are all of a sudden able to connect with so many different programs, so many different groups, and um, that's just a really beautiful thing, I think. And um, I'm just so grateful for everything that you guys have done. Like any time that I call you, or Sam was involved with it before, I mean, they are just ready like you guys are the picture of community. No wonder that you have grown such uh, an incredible community because I can tell it's just really like in your hearts and it sounds like, um, you know, kids, the question is always like, how are the homeschoolers going to have social skills? Well, that to me sounds a lot healthier than all of the poor kids that were stuck in, you know, rooms on Zoom school. Totally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm so special. No, it's I just stepped up. I saw the need and I did it. So if you have questions, you need support, you want to start a group in your area, do it. We have some moms here. I don't know how many are in this room, but two for sure. Fallbrook Lead and San Diego Lead, they stepped up. They're hosting events. They're drawing families in and they're showing their support, giving resources and themselves. I love it. And they literally like because I'm part of several of the, the groups on there, and there's just multiple events, like every day, just all the time. Um, and if you're a vendor, they're a great resource. So like we are um, one of the, we signed up for your vendor package. I, I forget what it's called. What's it called? Uh, our digital marketing plan? That, yeah. that. We signed up for that, and it's great. I mean, you guys really got the word out. Um, you really, really got the word out about this event, and so that is important for other vendors to know. And who, who's the, who are the leads in your lead? Ah, oh, of course you are. <laughs> Brittany is just always uh, just at the forefront of making things happen, so I love it. And you're a lead as well? Crystal. Okay, awesome. April. Crystal and April? Yeah. Yay, awesome. Well, thank you guys for what you do because I know that it's – here's the thing. You guys probably do not have as much fanfare for what you're doing as some other things, but it is just as – or dare I say, much, 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 much more important. Uh, Brittany, you've been on the news with me, right? And, and it's like everybody sees you, and then they see you in Costco, and they're like, Brittany, I saw you on the news. Good job at the school board meeting. Okay, that's great. It's important. What you're doing now, it's more important. It really is. Yeah, and you get to do it, you know, have fun with your kids. They don't, they don't like the kids in the school board meetings. <laughs> going to these school board meetings we were standing up not only for our rights as parents but our kids and even though I didn't public school my children I believe everybody has the right to do what they need to for their children and the school should have no control over that I love it that's powerful that is so and that's how they met amazing amazing ah that was quite a meeting. <laughs> um, and that being said, it's so important. I'm glad you brought that up because it is so important that uh, if as home educators and alternative educators, you don't stand up for students right in the public school systems, they will come for the charters next. They will come from the home education next. We have to work on it together for sure.